Iran has now admitted to unintentionally shooting down a Ukrainian plane, killing all 176 who were on board. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has said that missiles were fired due to human error. He added that the crash was a great tragedy and an unforgivable mistake. He added that he regrets the quote-unquote disastrous mistake. Iranian Foreign Minister Javed Zarif has also tweeted blaming U.S. adventurism for the crisis. After denials that it shot down the Ukraine Airlines plane on January 8th, the Boeing 737 plane crashed shortly after takeoff from the Imam Khomeini International Airport in Tehran. Now, Iran says that it mistook the passenger plane for a hostile jet. The casualties, including Iranian, Canadian, Swedish and Ukrainian citizens. Earlier, both US and Canada had said that they had intel that a missile strike led to the plane's downing. Now remember, the crash happened hours after Iran launched a series of rockets at two US air bases in Iraq. Iran had earlier denied handing out the plane's black box to US aerospace company Boeing. It later agreed to cooperate with international investigators. Let's also get in a perspective into this latest admission that has come in from Iran. And for that, I'm joined in by Mr. Jeffrey Thomas. He is the editor-in-chief of AirlineRatings.com. A very warm welcome to you, Mr. Thomas. Let me begin by asking you, how Thank does you. an anti-aircraft missile differentiate between a passenger plane and a war plane? Well, that's a very good question, which I think a lot of people will be asking don't really know exactly how sophisticated the mis missile system was. In many, many cases, there is no differentiation. Uh, it's simply a moving object, uh, which they believe is hostile, and, the, and they shoot it down. Uh, far more sophisticated systems um, could, in fact, receive the transponder information from that aeroplane, identifying it as a commercial aircraft rather than a military target. But we don't exactly know um, the level of sophistication of the particular missile system that, uh, that the Iranians were using. Um, but at the same time, uh, the, the, the people operating the uh, missile system could be looking at something as simple as Flight Radar 24, which is an app which everybody has. Um, and it shows you what a commercial aircraft and, 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 their, and their identification. So there's, there's certainly ways of doing it, um, but it, it's a great tragedy. Right. Um, it is indeed a great tragedy. And Mr. Thomas, Iran says that this incident is a human error. What does human error mean in such a situation? Well, I believe that, you know, it was a very tense situation, although there were other commercial aircraft taking off. Uh, this particular aircraft did, did deviate uh, to, the right, uh, to the right after takeoff. Now, whether that's part of its flight plan or not, we, I don't know. But it certainly deviated, and they say, towards a military base. Um, and in a very tense situation, um, someone has identified it as a military aeroplane or a threat and simply hit the button. Uh, it's, 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 it's as simple as that and as, and as tragic as that. Right. In such a tragedy, who will be who will be held responsible? And since Iran has stated that those responsible will be held accountable, who will be brought to book? I, w I would expect if if uh, this is what they say is going to happen, then the operator of the missile uh, battery, uh, his commander possibly as well, the person who said fire, that's basically going to be the person who's going to be held accountable for this uh, for this um, mistake. All right, Mr. Thomas, there's also you know critics are questioning that uh, you know. Here is why Iranian authorities did not stop flights in and out of Tehran at the time Iran chose to retaliate. That is the big question that critics and experts are asking at the moment. Why were these flights operating out of Iran not stopped? Well, it's a very good question, and yes, they should have. They should have ceased all operation because there were a number of aircraft leaving, a, lot, a number of Iranian, Iran Air, Man Air, uh, Turkish Airlines. There were a variety of aeroplanes leaving uh, around the same time. Um, whether those aircraft 
maintain the correct heading um, and whether this one deviated uh, from its uh, flight path. Um, or where, you know, we, we just don't know at this stage. It's a little bit too early to tell. Um, but yes, uh, in, given the... Uh, but mind you, the, the operation against uh, Iraq had com been completed two hours earlier, although, of course, um, uh, the Iranians were expecting some retaliatory move. So the whole situation was incredibly volatile and certainly, uh, I believe, they should have stopped operations out of Tehran Airport until uh, an, an all-clear had been given. Right. Last but not the least, Mr. Thomas, considering there have been incidents of accidental shootings in the past where countries have passed the buck, like in the case of Malaysia Airlines flight that was shot down over eastern Ukraine, how should the global community view Iran's admission today? Oh, I think that they should. Uh, I think the Iranians are, the Iranian uh, rulers are to be commended for coming out and honestly saying, yes, it was a mistake, unintentional. Uh, we are going to hold the various people responsible to account um, because so many shoot downs still today have been denied by the countries responsible. Um, and everybody knows who, you know, what happened, but they still deny it. And there's been, as you suggest, there has been many, many surface to air shoot downs and there's also been a number of air to air shoot downs um, including a Korean airline 747 in 1983 which killed over 270 people. Uh, it was shot down by Russian fighters. Um, so yes, they're there to be commended absolutely. All right, Mr. Thomas, thank you so much for sharing in your precious perspective and bringing us all those details. They certainly have added to our understanding of the current scenario. Now, five hours after Iran launched a volley of missiles at U.S. and Ukrainian International Airlines flight, PS-752 took off into the pre-dawn darkness from Tehran's Imam Khomeini International Airport. On board were 176 people en route to Kiev, where most planned to connect to further destinations, including Canada. Beyond brings to you now a sequence of videos that have surfaced in the last two days, just two minutes into the January 8th flight as the Boeing 737-800 climbed to an altitude of 2,400 meters. It suddenly disappeared from the radar. It crashed two minutes later, killing everyone on board. The pilots did not communicate any trouble with the aircraft before its tragic demise. This could have been because there were no problems. Iran has now admitted that the plane was shot out of the sky by a missile launched by its own security forces. These are the most dramatic pictures of the downed Ukrainian airliner that you can see. We show you the moment which is believed to be the ill-fated Boeing aircraft's final moments as it hit the ground. On the ground, a CCTV camera captured the moment when the wreckage fell from the skies. Iran's latest admission after days of denial pins the error on human fault. Iran has now said that those responsible for this error would be brought to books.